What is up guys? This is Arshad Samir. Welcome to the 5th Java JDBC tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to select rows whichever we need. So let's start. We need to create a method in order to select rows. So private void and let's print this statement st equals null and we need to put a try catch so that we can catch the exception stack trace yeah there we go now we need to create the statement st equals connection is the object sorry create statement there we go and now we need to execute our query so that st dot execute query there we go let's pass the query what we need to pass just select a row select everything from salespeople where id equals anything we need to pass pass a value so that we can retrieve the row whichever we need according to for an example if we pass id equals 1 it's gonna give the row which has id equals 1 for an example let me show you how it happens here if i pass the i id value is equal to 1 it gonna give this row like you know here just click on to the, click on to the sql statement select and what i'm going to do where id equals 1 let's see the output as you can see here it's gonna return this row only so the same thing is going to happen let's switch to the eclipse so we need to pass an integer so that just i'm going to pass through this argument int id equals or int sorry id and what i'm going to do just i'm going to put the id here plus id now i'm going to call this particular method so while calling i'm going to give the value of id the object name dbc dot method select rows i'm going to give the id as one so let's see what's the what is the result oh i forgot to put the result set just put otherwise we cannot retrieve data result set and just equalize equal equal to st dot execute query as you can see here we are passing our unique identifier so that it's gonna give only one row so what i rather than putting a while loop i'm just gonna put a if statement so if rs dot next then i'm going to print it out System dot out dot print line. Uh, as you can see right here, we are going to uh, get all the columns. So let's start from the ID RS dot. It's an integer. Get int. That's ID, and just give a space so it will be looking nice. RS dot. Second one is the name. It's an string. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Uh, which is its name, I think. And the third one is R is dot. It's also a string. Which is a city, I think. And the fourth one is 
rs dot get set decimal value uh, I think commission yeah there we go yes. just yeah everything is good to go I think yeah let's save the program and run it yeah. as you can see connection successful ID equals one the row this is the particular row so let's pass another ID where ID equals three and just save the program and run it yeah we are getting the results so this is for ID let's change it to another row uh, yeah let's look at the database once this is the table and we have passed one and after that three so we got the particular rows now let's pass the city name London so if we pass the London we should get two rows according to this table so it's because here here is one London and this third row has third row also ha has London so let's pass it so we need to give argument as city city is a string so let's change it to string string city and we need to pass here London London and here select everything from salespeople where is city equals we need to give the city name whatever we are passing through this so here we need to put this mark otherwise we cannot get the result and double quotation so here I'm going to put city everything is good to go it sounds confusing let me show what I did right here let's switch to the our table database so this is what this is what our table and just click on the SQL and I'm going to execute this query where is city equals I need to give this mark and we need to pass London is because this is a string if it is a string we need to pass like this only just execute this query go yeah there we go guys we got these two rows where the London is there okay let's switch to the Eclipse again yeah we are good to go as you can see now you know what's happening right here uh, now we know that we are not passing an passing a unique identifier it's because if we passing a unique identifier it's gonna have only one row but we are but we are passing a string which is known as city so it's gonna contain more than one row but in other words I can we, I can say like you know if we pass other than unique identifier it's gonna have multiple row or it may contain one row we don't know actually how many rows it gonna give as a result so it's better to put while loop so let's put while and rs dot next yeah that's it and I'm gonna copy paste it copy this thing and just print it out and yeah everything is good to go London yeah everything is good to go now let's run the program okay yeah guys as you can see we got the result and this is how we select rows so this is what for this tutorial and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my next tutorial I'll see you in the next tutorial